Hello and thank you for joining in. This is Goldie again. In the last video, we verified our Google domain ownership to G Suite. And if you haven't watched that video yet, please go ahead and watch it. And now in this video, we will take a step forward and activate our emails. So our users can start receiving emails in their G Suite mailboxes. And to do this, we will need to create a record in our DNS. And this record is called mail exchanger record, or we can also call it MX record. So essentially this record has the name of your email servers, which you are authorizing to receive emails which are sent to any user at your domain. So now before we move ahead and create G Suite MX records for your uh, Google domain, a couple of quick points I wanted to mention. So when we create MX records, we also define priority of email servers to tell our DNS which email server should receive our emails first. Usually you would have more than one email server address in your MX record. Uh, to do some sort of uh, load balancing. So if one email server is down, the second one would pick up your emails. And that's why we define the priority of mail servers as well. So now with that understanding, let's go ahead and create MX records for our Google domain. So for that, I have already logged into my G Suite admin console. If you haven't yet, just go to admin.google.com and sign in with the email address which you used uh, when we registered our G Suite domain in uh, video one. Once you're in there, you can go to set up Gmail and let's click on set up Gmail. Now Google will ask you, because Google knows that we are setting up with Google domains, so it will ask us to log in to our Google domains because that's the place where we will be querying all our DNS records and I've already logged in into my Google domains. If you haven't, go to domains.google.com, put your ID password and come here. Once you're in here, let's tell Google that we have successfully logged in. Now it's asking us to figure out the place where we will be making changes or creating the MX records. We know the place, so let's say I have opened the control panel for that. Now delete existing MX records. Well, this is important and let's talk about this. So in case if this is the first time you just purchased the domain and you're signing up for G Suite services, you will not have MX records in your DNS. In that case, you will just go ahead and create the MX records from scratch. But if you're switching from any other email provider, you might already have MX records in your DNS. So if you look at mine here, I have the Zoho MX records because I'm using Zoho email services. And now, I'm switching to G Suite. So what you need to do in that case, you will, I would, I would say never delete the MX records which you have already, rather change their priority to something which is like give it low priority. When I say low, give it a negative priority. So what I'll do, I'll click on edit and let's say and to Google, Google is saying that delete, but I would say never delete those records because when you're creating the new MX records, there would be some time gap till the time all those new records are updated in all the DNS servers. And within that time period, we don't want emails to be bouncing. But for the sake of saying here, let's tell Google that we have deleted the MX records. And now Google is giving you their or MX records to create. If you can also find it on Google, just in case, if you go to Google and type G Suite MX records, click on the first link and here are the same Gmail or Google uh, MX records. So I will come back here. Now what we need to do is, this is the server priority which we discussed. So essentially what Google wants is that first, all the emails coming for our domain should hit this email server just by any chance if that email server is down then this will uh, 
have the second priority and this email server will try to receive your emails and so on. So we will copy one by one all of these values and create the MX records. So let's copy the first one. Go back to our Google domains. In your case, if you're setting up from scratch, just put the value in my case. I already have the values here. So what I'm going to do is I will change these values. So I pasted this one. Let me give it the value of one, which means that's the lowest priority. So that will the, all the email will try to come here first and then it will go to these ones. And then let's copy the other one which is of priority 5. These priority does not matter much till the time you have in this uh, sequence. So this would be the first one, second, third, fourth and fifth. Now you can make it 10, 50, 100, whatever. But let's just copy the same as Google has. So I have put this and the priority was 5. So I will put let's say 5 here. You need to give it a space. Let's add the third one which is this with the priority of 5 again so we'll say 5 space and then this value let's add two more this one priority of 10 and one more oops I forgot to put the space here and let's put the last one copy priority 10 one space and paste now I have these new MX records but I already have one in with the priority of 10 which is pointing to Zoho so what I'm gonna do is I will make it 15 so sen so essentially what's gonna happen now is all the emails will first try to try to be received by this email server if that one is down it will go to this 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 and just in case if Google gets down it will come to this one but for that you will need to have mailbox on these ones I forgot the space here as well so let me give the space okay so now you can you can wait for like 24 hours or 48 hours and once all the emails start coming to your G Suite mailboxes then you can come back to your DNS and delete the other mail exchanger or MX records. So once I start receiving emails, I'll come back here and delete all these three Zoho MX records. For now, these are fine. I will click on save. And I've saved all my MX records. I will go back here and tell Google that I've created the MX records. I have saved the MX records as well and I will click on verify. Now depending on uh, the DNS it may take some time. Google says it's five minutes and I don't want you to wait for five minutes so I will pause the video here and come back once Google verifies it. So that was quick. I would say it, it took maybe 90 seconds or less than that for Google to verify that I've created the MX records and it says we are all set to receive emails in our newly created Gmail boxes so what I'm gonna do is just to test it out I will go to Gmail so it's this mailbox which I recently created and let me send an email to uh, this ID from my cell phone where I have my other mailbox configured so I will type in my email address here Goldie at Goldie a -R -O -R -A com, and I will say this is a test email and click on send and I really I should get that now in my mailbox right here so it is working fine so that was it in this video we activated our emails and we are all set to send and receive emails in our newly created gmail boxes in the next video we will do a few more settings in our dns to make sure that our emails should never be considered as spam rather they should be delivered right to recipients in boxes unless we are sending some really spam stuff so keep watching the next one thank you for now